Hello everyone, Major Frenchy. Welcome. Today I want to talk about setting up Zakaria in Pinup Popper. Uh, Zakaria, if you do not know this platform, guys, they have phenomenal tables. Uh, I want to just show you quickly. Uh, we're going to pick a, the Deluxe. They're like breathtaking. A lot of settings in, in Zakaria. Yeah, there's support for two screens, so you can have a back glass as well. So look at this. All right, so the, the, the plan is to get this um, in Pinup Popper, so it will launch the game automatically, so you do not have to fiddle through the menus. It is possible. Uh, there are a few steps. Uh, just follow closely what I do, and you should have no problems. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to go to Nailbuster's wiki. Uh, thank you very much, Nailbuster, for uh, explaining this. So basically, all I'm going to show you today is explain here, plus minus a few changes uh, like the software uh, that he uses for the um, uh, coordinates. I'm using something else. So if you go to Nailbuster's wiki, uh, all the information is here. All the files that you require are here. I'm going to save this. Well, so download that in the folder. Uh, also, this one here. Uh, just put it in the folder as well. Uh, this one is the list of games because when you import, uh, like if you scan the list of Zakaria games within Popper, uh, you will see you get all like numbers. It, it does not make sense. There's no name, so it has to do some kind of conversion. So next, you might want to put. A uh, shortcut for <laughs> where uh, Zakaria Pinball is installed because it's a pain to navigate there every time. So you will need to navigate where Zakaria is installed. So by default, you're going to go to Program Files, x86, Steam. You're going to go to Steam Apps, Common, and Zakaria Pinball is here. Put a shortcut right here so it's easier to get access to it. So I'm going to copy over the export underscore Zakaria pinball dot pop games. I'm going to just move it here. And also there's the there's the zip file and uh, we're going to put it here as well. So we're going to right click and I'm going to expand this. OK, this one you can ignore. Uh, this one here is the one you're going to need. So copy that or move it to the uh, Zakaria Pinball folder right here. These are the files that you will require. So now we're going to go in Pinup Popper Setup. I'm uh, going to click Popper Setup, Emulators. So if you navigate to the Zakaria, it should be there by default. Uh, if it's not, just uh, copy what values I have here. And then you should be set. Uh, you click the plus button to create a new emulator. And then you can add the different directory where the files are. So once we make sure it's enabled in the system, click click that box here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click close. OK, now we're ready to import the games inside Pinup Popper. So we're going to go to Game Manager. And then we're going to select. Um, we're going to stay in all games. We're going to select the uh, from the drop down Zakaria. Now I created two because I already have my other one imported. I don't want to screw it up. So Zakaria 2 right here. So what you're going to do is you right click on that field and then you're going to say import new games from file. And then you're going to point to where the file is. So see, we create a shortcut so it's, it's faster. We're going to click on that. We're going to say open and it says, are you sure? Yep. Done. Importing 109 games. Ta-da! You're done. So if you, now it, it imports all the games, okay? So if you haven't purchased certain games, you just delete them uh, by just going here and click delete game and then you're you're done. So this is how you import. This is the first step, really, um, that you're going to need to do.
So there's a script that we're going to use to tell the software to click the logo because you need to click the logo to get in. So clicking the logo, then selecting the game, then clicking OK. So it's all in, in the script. So for finding where the coordinates of a specific location on the screen is, we're going to actually use a software called screencord.exe. So download this, and uh, I've put mine in the folder of Zakaria Pinball. Uh, you can put it wherever you want. So the way that works is you're just going to double click that, and you see that where uh, what's important is these coordinates right here, X uh, and then the Y. And as you move the box, you're going to see that these values are changing. And then you're going to put it where you want on the, on the monitor, on the second, on the play field. And then you're going to copy those values. I'm going to have a link in the description below for the uh, website for downloading this uh, nice little utility. Okay, so I flipped the, uh, the, my monitor and I'm going to bring the, the box right here. And this is pretty much where the logo is, where we need to click. So we're going to, we need the coordinates for this area on the screen. So select the values and copy them. I'm going to move them to the screen, but the values will be uh, will be different. <laughs> but uh, select these values right here and copy them. And now we're going to go to popper zakaria.ahk. That's the script you need to edit. So right click, edit with Notepad++. And here's the, is the script. So what you're going to need to change, all right, is uh, it might not be at the, the exact line, but this is the line that you need to edit, okay? DLL call. So this is the, the first value here is the X, and the second value is the Y. So what I do is I just let line 116, I just paste my values from the software, right? So see, they're actually pretty close because I've done it uh, before. So th these are my right values. So, but uh, so what you do is you change that first number to the number right here, right? And then the second value to the number right here. And then once you're done, you can delete that line. Save the file right here. Click Save. Close it. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to right click on that popper underscore zakaria.ahk and you're going to compile a script with the new values. So it's going to create an exe file. There you go. So now you have that popper zakaria.exe that we're going to use inside the pinup popper launch script. Okay. One thing I want to show you before um, I exit out of here. Here's the different things that you may want to play with, okay? Uh, see the sleep right here? So depending on how fast your uh, Zakaria loads, uh, you may have to change the value here. So basically it's sleeping for 22 seconds, okay? Mine is super long to load. Actually, I had a, a very hard times getting uh, Zakaria to run on my system. It wasn't running at, at first. So right now I don't even care. If it takes 22 seconds, it's, it's fine. It's running. Um, but I know some people that just launch fairly quickly. I think Nailbuster says uh, he's seen anywhere between 8 and 15. Well, you can add 22, uh, uh, Dave. <laughs> so uh, so that's the value you're going to change. And here below, you, you probably won't have to change this, but it's it's basically the uh, actions of the mouse. Like click, uh, you know, sleep for, a little, for half a second, uh, go up, go down. So that's the script that will allow you to launch the uh, the game automatically okay so but that sleep right here you may have to change this based on your setup we're gonna refer back to nail busters wiki right here um, and then you're gonna need to change copy this right here okay and uh, you're gonna we're gonna go to uh, pop popper setup emulator we're gonna go back to Zakaria launch setup tab Okay, and we're going to paste these right here. And you click the plus to save and close. 
And we should be pretty much ready to go, folks. Um, let's just give it a shot. Let's launch Aerobatic. Nice. So, of course, you got to have, um, I, I didn't mention that, but it's quite important. You need to download as a carrier. It's uh, on your Steam, so it's going to, it's going to, pull up the game right from Steam so you need to be logged into Steam. So see how long it is for me but it's okay like it takes 22 seconds and then you will see the screen will load. See it's flipped automatically. It knows. And then click, click. I didn't click. It it just clicked automatically. It got into the game. And then again, I'm not touching anything. It's going to click in a few seconds and there you go. Now you're ready to play the game. You haven't touched anything on your system and if i click escape i'm back to the pinup popper menu there you go it got in automatically i didn't touch anything here it takes a few seconds then it'll hit play i could probably change that faster but so here we go guys so i, I just hope that uh it helps you uh, with uh, setting up Popper. I know I had to fiddle quite a bit, even though David had a very nice set of instructions. Uh, it's it's always, even when you have instructions, sometimes, guys, it, it's you got to play and try. All systems are different, right? So give it a shot. It works well for me, and hope you enjoy. Come and visit us on the Discord channel, guys. We chat about a lot of different stuff, a lot of topics, and we have the competition corner where we play a, a table every week. And uh, hey, you might even win a, you know, some some stuff in the raffle for this. So thanks for being with me, and uh, I'll catch you next time.